We're back on the show, and a big fight announced this week in the heavyweight division. It's going to be headlining the UFC's debut card in Zagreb, Croatia, as Junior Dos Santos is going to be taking on Big Ben Rothwell. Junior Dos Santos joining us here for a couple of minutes to discuss this very big fight. And right off the bat, Junior, I want to wish you a belated happy birthday, just celebrating your 32nd birthday. Congratulations. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Uh, this is a very big fight in the heavyweight division and one that uh, I'm curious your reaction when you were offered Ben Rothwell, who's on this, this great winning streak. Were you expecting to get someone like a Ben Rothwell here uh, coming off your recent loss to Alistair over him? Yeah, actually, you know, I, I don't pick opponents. You know, I would fight anyone that UFC put in front of me. I was expecting to, to fight, I don't know, maybe Arlovsky, maybe... Uh, Travis Brown, oh, any one of these guys, you know, but they, they, Ben Rothwell, Rothwell was the guy that accepts the fight. So uh, I'm happy to be facing him, you know. Like you said, he's coming from great victories. Uh, he's living a great moment in the division. So it's going to be a good fight for the fans, you know. Were there a number of opponents that were being discussed with, with you and your team, or was it always Ben Rothwell that was uh, the option on the table? Well, uh, we, we, I think uh, they, they said some things about uh, Arlovsky and Travis Brownie, but uh, I think they can't because they're not able to fight now. Uh, but Ben Rothwell was the guy that accepts, and right now it's the, the only thing that matters for me, you know, because uh, he, like I said, you know, he lives, lives in a, living a great moment in the career, and I'm coming from... Uh, you know, a, a tough moment. So it's going to be a great fight for me to to come back on my winning streak. Have you had the chance to sit down and have you rewatched the Alistair Overeem fight where you've been able to take maybe the immediate emotion out of it and, and watch it uh, from a more neutral position and kind of watch for what went wrong? What are some of the conclusions coming out of that fight for yourself? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did watch that fight sometimes and uh well, uh, yeah, many mistakes, man. I, commit, I, I did so many mistakes, and uh, uh, I think, you know, uh, my strategy wasn't that good. And uh, I don't know, I was feeling like too too much time without fighting maybe, maybe me, maybe made me more nervous for that fight. I, I, I can't explain very well. But uh, I saw the mistakes I committed on that fight, so I'm correcting them, you know. And uh, now I want to keep uh, a better frequen- frequency of fights, you know. Then I, I think I'm gonna be feeling uh, as I as I as I feel normally, you know, and uh, bring the back the normal JDS to inside the octagon to 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 get that victory. Did you inform the UFC that you wanted to fight as soon as possible? You mentioned, you know, you had the one-year layoff after the win over Stipe Miocic, and that can be, for some fighters, having that ability to take a few steps back and then take some some time off, it can be a good thing. But as you outline, it it also comes with its negatives, having that long of a layoff. Yeah, for sure. But I I, I asked them, you know, for this fight, you know, I, I asked them to, you know, as soon as possible, give them another fight. And I'm I'm happy that they 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 gave me this fight now in April, you know April 10th here for the first time here in Croatia. So it's gonna be great to be competing here. You know people uh, around here are treating me very well, and I'm happy to be here. You know a very very Zagreb is a pretty pretty nice city with nice people. So I'm enjoying to be here, and um, and yeah, I asked for the for that fight, and like you mentioned. Uh, I fought Mia Chicha like uh, one year ago, but as, uh, before that, I was one year out already, you know, because of injuries. So this this last two years were very hard for me, were pretty hard for me. And I fought Mia Chich with uh, many, uh, an injury on my on my knee, you know. I just fought because I should I should fight, you know, uh, for 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 my life. So not giving excuses, but yeah, these two years, two last years were pretty, pretty hard for me. And now I just want to get back, you know, and bring the normal JDS to inside the octagon. 
Are you going to spend this camp at, at American Top Team? And t- tell us just a bit about uh, having a full camp there, preparing uh, for the fight with Alistair Overeem, what American Top Team did to uh, evolve your own game. Well, yeah, the American Top Team is a great and big team, you know, and they have a great structure there, you know, to support us. And I'm ha- I'm happy to be there, you know. I'm, I think I'm learning new things, you know. I'm learning a lot to be there. And, of course, it's uh, everything was different for me now for the, the Alistar over in training camp. But now I'm a few more more comfortable being there, so I think the result will will show show uh, ev- what uh, everything what I'm what I'm trying to explain here. You know that the team is great and is supporting me a lot. In terms of Ben Rothwell, certainly it's been quite the run that he has been on in the heavyweight division, and in particular winning his last two fights with this go-go choke. Have you been studying this choke? And tell us what impresses you the most about Ben Rothwell that's going to be your biggest challenge in this fight. Well, Ben Umbrato, like I said, he's coming very well in on this division. I think it, the the most important you know aspect of his, his, his fights uh, have been his... Um, his will, you know, he walks forward all the time. You know, he's looking for, you know, for for being aggressive or the, the the whole fight. And he fought some tough guys, and um, like you said, he did that. Uh, you know, he submitted the, the guys with that guillotine choke or, or something like this. So uh, yeah, he's dangerous. He's, he's living. He's dangerous. He's strong, and he's living a great moment. So he's very confident. Uh, as well, so um, yeah, I'm sure that I have to to train a lot, you know, to get myself very well prepared to 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 face one of the the best heavyweights right now. As we also uh, just take a look at this heavyweight division, it's a fascinating time in this weight class. There's so many different contenders emerging. Do you look at this fight as a fact that, man, this is your pathway right up to the top of this division? I mean, it wasn't all that long ago, Junior, that you got a victory over Stipe Miocic, who very well could be fighting for the title in a very short amount of time. Do you feel that a lot of... uh, People out there, they do have short-term memories when it comes to these victories, and this is a fight, Junior, that is very advantageous for your career. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I feel like that, and you know, I feel it, with a win on April April tenth over Man Rothwell, we, we, it's gonna be the, the win that that I need right now, you know, to put me back to put me back on the, like on top of this division, you know, and close to fight for the title. Uh, again, so uh, that's why it's 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 been very very important for me. You know, I I I feel like I disappointed uh, my fans a little bit uh, in my last fight, uh, but you know, uh, uh, sometimes the things doesn't go the way we want. It happens a lot with everything, you know. So uh, right now, I, I I'm sure I know what I have to do. I'm trying to do it, and I'm working hard. I'm sure I'm going to be able to do everything what I what it takes, you know, to to be very well prepared in the day of the fight and honor the 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 cheering of all my my fans, you know, because man, I have to 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 say thank you for all of them because even in the bad moments. I have so many fans supporting me all the time and giving me uh, extra motivation to 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 walk forward, to keep going. Uh, that's that's unbelievable for me. Thank you very much, guys. My final question before we let you go here, Junior. This July will mark 10 years that you have been fighting as a professional. If you could talk to 22-year-old Junior Dos Santos, what would be the biggest bit of advice that the 10-year veteran could pass along to that rookie, Junior Dos Santos? <laughs> well, the, the, it's a, it's, a, it's a, a hard question, you know. <laughs> but uh, well, I would say uh, keep going, boy. Keep going because uh, you have the will that you need to to reach the top. So I would say that in back in ten years ago, and I would uh, I would say the same thing right now for this for for me right now. You know, keep going, keeping keep 
believe in yourself and give your, your and try your best all the time. You know, doesn't matter what what happens. It's going down on Sunday, April the 10th, the UFC's first card in the country of Croatia, headlined by heavyweights Big Ben Rothwell and Junior Dos Santos. Junior, thank you so much for this time, and we wish you all the best going into this fight coming up April 10th. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for, for having me. Thank you, Junior. Thank you.